Hey everyone, it's Board Geek once again. This time I'm going to be playing something a bit different. I'm going to be going a little bit old school, not too too old school, just going back to Genesis days. Though I guess for some people on the internet that would be before they were even born. Anyways, so yeah, I'm going to play me some Sega Genesis. And the game I'm going to be playing is... Oh yes, a Ghostbusters. Loved, loved, loved this game as a kid. Uh, ooh, easy, yes. I did uh, actually have a previously recorded game where I died so fast it was not very funny at all but you know what it's not about the difficulty right now it's just more about going back and playing a game that i enjoyed as a kid peter venkman i like choosing peter because he's got speed as midway and health as midway so he's not weak but he's not super fast Okay, let's see now. Ah, oh, the phone is ringing. What a terrible, terrible phone. Alright, so you choose one of four different places. The home sweet home, apartment, a woody house, and a high-rise building. I'm going to start off with the home sweet home. The shortest, smallest level. But just giving you a giving you a taste for this first video. Leave it to the Ghostbusters. Only one middle ghost. Let's go. Now, it has actually been quite some time since I played this, but I had a little uh a little bit of a trial run there at first, so kind of why it looks like I know what I'm doing. Jump. Oh no! Stereotypical sheet ghost. What a terrible house this is. You've got holes all over the place. Slimer. Slimer is awesome because he gives you life. That was dumb. Alright then. Money, money, money! So if you're wondering what the money is for, it's not actually a point system in this game, but you actually use it to buy upgrades to your weapons, and to your shields, you can buy food to heal yourself. We'll get to that later. Alright, these coffee mugs are messed up. The amount of hits that they take to die is just ridiculous. Jump. Spikes. Spikes are no good. And encounter. First is creepy Chihuahua magician hat dude. I don't even know what this guy's name is. Oh. Okay. There we go. Here you go, Steve. Right. Into the trap. Yeah. That was actually relatively simple. Sometimes it can be a, a hassle and pull away when you try and pull them into the trap. Alright, uppity up. Another slimer. Get some life. Ooh. A boss time. I'm going to kill you. That's unfortunate. I see. See, so yeah, playing this guy on normal, um, I died like right away. <laughs> it was pretty terrible. Never said I was good at these games. 
just I like the name. I love how back in the days you knew that you were doing damage to the boss when they changed color. Ah! Oh, death number one. Mummified. Wow, I just stood there and took that. That's awesome. Ah! No! Oh, come on! <laughs> yes, let's just jump into uh, the enemy. Alright, maybe I can just blast my way through this guy. There we go. Maybe that's how you do it. You just crouch and back and forth, back and forth. Oh, I suppose. What? Uh, this is the end of the level. And Peter Brinkman is skipping like an idiot. Ghost Cops plus 15th Street Spook. Yay, me. An extra thousand dollars for the first ghost. Alright. Plot thickens. Of course it'll take time. Why would it, you know, go quickly? That would just be helpful. Alright, so I think I'm gonna pause it there. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.